Kia and Hyundai, the car manufacturers, are being sued by Democrat cities. Why? Because it's too easy to break into their cars. No, really, that's, that's actually the argument. Cities from Seattle to Baltimore have decided that, you know what the solution is to this car theft issue? It's to sue the car manufacturers for not having good enough theft prevention systems. Yes, because the fact that that's too easy to break into just encourages car theft, which is actually the, the argument. You see, videos on social media have shown how people can start Kia and Hyundai cars using a screwdriver and a USB cable. I don't know the details. I don't particularly care. Now, I can understand how the owners of those cars might be upset. You know, there, there's an easier way to get the car started than is normal in this modern day and age. But the cars have everything that is legally required. So the lawsuit is bogus. But take a look at Baltimore Commissioner Michael Harrison. He, he said this, quote, we must demand more from these manufacturers in addressing this increase in vehicle thefts, which puts victims and residents in harm's way. This lawsuit represents a first step in holding these manufacturers accountable and establishing necessary safeguards to improve the quality of life for our residents." Unquote. The residents are both the victims and the perpetrators of these crimes. Like, maybe they could you know, do something about the crime instead of just making it harder to steal. I mean, because what's, what's the next step? Like, for example, is, is Walmart going to start suing Samsung because the TVs they make are stealable? <laughs> because, it's, because it's just too easy to get that thing out of the door. It, is that the future? How about grill manufacturers? Who's going to sue them because they're going to get stolen, left on people's porches if they don't have just the right anti-theft method built in? <laughs> I hope you can see the ludicrousness. But I mean, let's get really down to it. If you knew that your neighbor had left his car unlocked, what are the chances that you would steal it? Because for me, I don't care if he left the car unlocked, running with the doors open. I'm not going to steal his car. There's zero percent, a zero percent chance of that happening. And I imagine the same is for you too. Because the issue isn't how easy is it to steal the car. It's how moral and decent are the people. And for some people, it's how big is the deterrent to performing this act. Th that, those are the important things. Now, hopefully, you would have a moral enough people. And increasingly, we're, we're seeing that be eroded. I mean, that's, that's one of the, the problems that we're dealing with, fundamentally, is that you know our society was designed, our system of government was set up for a moral people. I mean, if you have an immoral people, then you kind of have to have a police state in order to manage it and deal with it. And therein lies the problem. And, and so it's like, if you're then trying to govern an immoral populace, um, the whole thing's going to implode. But this is where we are. And so you have a situation out in these Democrat cities where they're refusing to deal with the criminals, right? They're, they're refusing to deal with the immoral. And therefore, those who are decent, presumably, uh, are, are suffering the consequences of it. And so these are places where you constantly have the uh, no bail systems. And so these people, they go directly into the, into the jail system for, you know, a few hours, and then they're back out on the streets to do exactly the same thing again. So there is no deterrent whatsoever. It's not the car manufacturer's fault that you're refusing to deal with crime. This is just, I guess it's, it's like the absence of responsibility that you see amongst the criminal class is, is being mirrored in the Democrat leadership of those cities. It's, it's outrageous, but, but also kind of comical in just how absurd it really is. Because, I mean, what are the limits to that? To, well, y your thing is too easy to steal and therefore it was stolen, you know, it's just, oh gosh, uh, what a sign of the times that we're living in.
If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.